Pisces, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for December 27th through January 2nd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there's an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Pisces. What's up? <clears throat> the overall energy for the reading, the chariot. Um, there's some movement, movement and energy here that seems to be fast. Fast in terms of, you know, how sometimes you feel like nothing's happening, nothing's moving, it's boring. Not quite in this reading. So, um, in the recent past, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Wands. Kind of trying to work on some sort of conflict here, trying to open up more, trying to be more understanding, trying to divert this situation of the Five of Wands, which I see as possible fights, possible misunderstandings here. Um, I see this on your side, trying to, you know, come from a different place, a place of love towards it. I don't know what happened though. We'll see. In the current situation, the Ace of Cups, the Moon, the Seven of Swords. There you are. Um, you're looking kind of in, if this is you you're looking in an energy in in one of those situations like you really really want for things to work out but you're walking away from it um again if this is you i don't know if it is or not you're definitely in the middle of this uh time frame here with the moon showing up but it could be somebody walking away from you, even though they want for things to work out, or it could be you walking away from a situation, even though you want for things to work out. Because I do see the desire of love, which is not necessarily expressed, it's kind of hidden. And then there's the walking away part. In the immediate future, the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Knight of Swords. Okay, so somebody is trying to create a brand new beginning here. Um. It looks good. It looks passionate. It looks it looks good. It looks very practical. Um, so I don't know what this is about, but we'll see. Let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me see the chariot. <clears throat> the Four of Swords, the Hermit, the Five of Pentacles. There is the energy of getting over possibly a breakup or a situation here of a, of a split of some sort, but I, I see a lot of healing behind it. So I don't know if, I don't see this necessarily as having happened right like a minute ago, because I see the healing part kind of being stretched. So you're not in the place of anger over it. You're not in the place of you know, all of that, probably you've been there, but right now you're in a, in a period of time of healing. Um, but uh, even though it's a stretch period of time, I feel like it's, it's going by pretty smoothly. It's not one of those, oh, I uh, ended up alone in the woods for like five years to heal out of this. It doesn't look like that. But it's an ongoing process, that's for sure. Let me see that five of wands in the recent past. All right, the Two of Cups, the Judgment card, the Ten of Swords. So there's two energies here. One of them wants for things to work out, the other one doesn't necessarily. I mean, not that they don't want to, the way they're uh, expressing whatever it is that they're going through is not coming out as love necessarily. It's coming out as, I'm done with this crap, I'm out. While the other person is trying to make things work. 
Um, so one is abandoning, the other one is still kind of trying to, to go at it. I don't see this conflict resolving though. When two people aren't on the same pages. Uh, the intention is good though. The intention is very, very good. Possibly on your side here, because you could have been the one that wanted to make things work. Let's do the Ace of Cups in the current situation. Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, King of Swords. There's a lot of confusion because I, again, I still see you in this energy of I really, really want this um, and I want for this to work out. However, you're very much confused about it. But when your mind is clear, I see a sense of, well, I know it's going to work out, you know, so it's completely opposite. I see you kind of in two boats here, <coughs> <coughs> kind of in two boats, one of confusion over it. And when you get into that place, nothing makes sense anymore. And then the other side where it's like, everything's clear. Of course it's gonna work out. So that's kind of interesting because you're usually not, you don't like the two boats situation at the same time kind of thing, usually. Um, it happens of course to all of us, but so I don't know, maybe it's the other energy you're dealing with. Uh, let's do the moon in the current situation. King of Pentacles, the Temperance card, the sun. So somebody does have an inner knowledge that whichever way this goes, whatever happens here, they'll be okay. They'll be happy in the end. It's, it's one of those, even if I get to, to go through excruciating pain right now, maybe this is actually best for me. You know, maybe this is not meant to be for me, for my highest good. Um, so there's a recognition of that. There's also a sense of almost like an underlayment of, of stability, of like relying on another part to keep you stable somehow. Uh, it could be a financial aspect. It could be at least I got a good job. I don't know. Because I see it going to the material a little bit. Uh, but there's definitely a sense of, in the end, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be okay. It's buried deep, deep, deep down inside of you, but it's there. Let's do the Seven of Swords. In the current situation. Oops. Um, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, which kind of flipped and reversed, but... Hmm. It's like you have no other choice because you've hung on to this energy for quite some time of trying to fix a situation. And even though you... It's shown like this. I'm kind of turning my back to trying to make things happy, to trying to make things work, but I really don't have a choice. It's like I'm being forced out of this because uh, it does take two to tango. And if you're the only one that's pulling in that direction of let's make this work and the other person is pulling on another card somewhere, what are you going to make work with who? with you yeah underneath it all i see that sense of knowledge of inner knowledge that you'll be fine even if this doesn't work out but i don't know i kind of see you abandoning this energy a little bit kind of like i tried and i tried and i tried and that's it i'm done trying you know if nothing's happening here um, let's do the Ace of Pentacles in the immediate future. <laughs> Interesting. What came out of here was the Queen of Swords and I put it back in the deck and apparently it wants to come out. For the Ace of Pentacles, you get the Queen of Swords, the World card, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's coming to an end. 
Um, it's gonna be painful. It's looking like it's painful. But it comes with a sense of relief, a sense of release almost from this energy. You're releasing yourself, basically. You know, from trying and trying and trying, again, with an energy that just doesn't respond to you trying. This doesn't have to be love, by the way. This could be a job, this could be a friend, this could be a family member. It doesn't necessarily have to be that whole aspect of, oh, it's the one. Not necessarily. Let's do the King of Wands in the immediate future. The Seven of Swords, the Tower, the Five of Wands. Wow, this is a repetitive cycle. Who's, who's doing this? I don't feel like this is you. Someone is stuck in a pattern and you're part of it. It's either you, but I don't see it, I don't see it as that. I see it as being them. Um, it's kind of like they're stuck in this... Uh, what's that movie? Groundhog Day? Is that what it's called? Where it repeats over and over again. That's what it's looking like for this energy. And then, you know, there's all sorts of other characters joining here and there. Different characters. Um, for the most part, it's the same characters as in the movie, but then there's one that's extra every time. And it's like, you're the extra in this one right now. Because they're coming back with the same freaking energy. <clears throat> Let's do the Knight of Swords. Again, this could be your energy. You would know if that's you. But I don't see it as that. I don't know. I see it as you trying to make it work, then they're coming back with the same thing. They're kind of grabbing you back into that same game. And then you're out on your own trying again. But trying with what? Because they have the same situation going on over and over and over again. It's up to them to break this pattern, you know? Uh, for the Knight of Swords in the immediate future, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Four of Wands. All you can do through this, because as you try to, to somehow make this work, you're also incorporating or doing a lot of work on yourself during this time so it's not only about oh let's focus on them and let's make them do this and that and the other it's about you through this and i feel like that's the point here for you at least um because i see you going towards the direction of figuring out what works for you and what doesn't and what's best for you and what's not and it's not an easy task to do but this is where your next chapter lies if you want it's <clears throat> when this energy comes right back in under the same freaking it's the same it's the same the same the same under the same repetitive pattern you're like okay it's time for me to figure out what it is that i want because i can't play this game over and over because you'll end up playing the same pattern over and over again you know trying and trying and trying um and it's not about that it's about you here Interesting reading. Um, let's see. From the universe, you get the Six of Swords, the Hierophant, the Six of Wands. Slowly but surely, through all of this, coming back and you doing it again, and then doing it again, and then you doing it again, and then the through all of this, there's kind of a distance, a gap that's being created between you and this connection over time. Uh, until eventually you'll probably get to this point of trying to figure out what it is that you want and then you'll make up your mind if this gap is going to grow bigger or, you know, close the gap. It's, it's really up to you. Uh, for now, I kind of see you stepping away slowly but surely energetically from this. Physically, I don't know. I kind of see that situation when this energy comes back, you probably don't realize that you go exactly right back into the exact same game. Um, and at some point it's going to feel like a repetitive, again, groundhog day kind of experience. But 
Um, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.